Shiva Prabhupada ki jai, Granthara Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Gauga Primanandi Hari Hari Mo, Jaya Omishu Pada Pramaham Sriraj Kacharitra Shaka Shishimad, Nanga Swami Bhaktivedanta Swami Shiva Prabhupada ki jai, Jaya Omishu Pada Pramaham Sriraj Kacharitra Shaka Shishimad, Nanga Swami Bhaktivedanta Saraswati Sakur Maharaj ki Shri Guru Parampara ki Nitai Gauga Primanandi Hari Hari Mo, Shri Hari Nam Sankirtan Yage Ki Grand Hara Shimad Bhagavatam Ki All glory to the ocean of the world 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 Shri Shri Guru Shri Gauranga All glory to Shri 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 Hare Krishna, dear devotees. Uh, my name is Anaga Das. I came from Russia. So, and I have a uh, little stop here in your place and I'm traveling in different places in this uh, limited world. <laughs> so, and I'm very happy to stay with you at Radhadesh place, Radhadesh, special place. So, um, and uh, today we will discuss together uh, Srimad Bhagavatam uh, from Nine King Talk, uh, chapter number two, the dynasty of the sons of Man. And we will start, we will start from text number 18. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vacho pratika stat putra ogava no gava pita kanya chao gava china ma sudarshana vahatam. Translation by His Divine Gracie, Bhaktivedanta Swami Shiva Prabhupada, He Jai. The son of Vasu was pratika, whose son was Oghavan. Oghavan's son was also known as Oghavan, and his daughter was Oghavati. So Darshan married that daughter. So now we will read um, different uh, names, and uh, it can be a little difficult for hearing, but uh, still we will do that because we are reading from Srimad Bhagavatam. So. So, mm, next verse. Chitra se no narishyanta triksha tasya soto bhava tasya midhavam shtata purna indra se nastuta suta. From narishyanta came a son named Chitra Sen, and from him a son named Riksha. From Riksha came Midhavan, from Midhavan came Purna, and from Purna came Indra Sena. Viti Utra Stvidra Sena Tasya Satya Shrava Bhuturu Shrava Sutastasya Devadatta Statu Bhapa. From Indra Sena came Viti Utra, from Viti Utra came Satya Shrava. From Satya Shrava came the son named Urushrava, and from Urushrava came Devadatta. 
Tato Vivesho Bhagavan Agni Swayama Bhutsuta Kanina Iti Vikyato Jatu Karnyo Mahadishi From Devadatta came a son known as Agni Vesha, who was the fire god Agni himself. This son, who was a celebrated saint, was well known as Kanina and Jatu Karnya. Uh, Purpurt by His Divine Grace Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Agni Vesha was also known as a Kanina and Jatu Karnya. Text 22. Tato Brahma Kulam Jatam Agni Vesha Yanam Ripa Narishyantam Vaya Prokto Dishtabam Shamata Shinu. Okay. From Agni Vesha came a Brahminical dynasty known as Agni Veshyayana. Now that I have described the descendants of Narishyanta, let me describe the descendants of Dishta. Please hear from me. And now verses whisper words. Nabhago Dishta Putranya Karmana Vaishyatam Gata Bhalandana Sutastasya Vatsa Priti Nabhago Dishta Putranya Nabhago Dishta Putranya Karma Nabashyatam Gata Karma Nabashyatam Gata Bhavandana Sutastasya Vatsa Pritir Bhavandana became a Vaishya by occupational duty. The son of Nabhaga was known as Balabhan, um, Balandana, 
The son of Balandana was Badsa Viti, and his son was Pramshu. Pramshu's son was Pramati, Pramati's son was Kanitra. Kanitra's son was Chakshusha, and his son was Vibhimshati. Shri Jagadev Balarev Subhadra Mai Ki Jai Shri Shri Guru Nitai Ki Jai Purport From man one son became a Kshatriya, another a Brahmana and another a Vaishya. This confirms the statement by Narada Muni Yasyaya Lakshanam Praktam Pumsho Varnam Hivyan Jakam Srimad Bhagavatam 7, Kento 11, Chapter was number 35. One should always remember that Brahmanas, Kshatriyas and Vaishyas should never be regarded as members of a caste by birth. A Brahmana may be changed into a Kshatriya and a Kshatriya into a Brahmana. Similarly, a Brahman or Kshatriya may be changed into a Vaishya and a Vaishya into a Brahmana or Kshatriya. This is confirmed in Bhagavad Gita. Chaturbanya Maya Srishtam Guna Karma Vibhagasha. So one is a Brahman, Kshatriya or Vaishya, never by birth, but by quality. There is a great need of Brahmanas. Therefore, in the Krishna consciousness movement, we are trying to train some Brahmanas to guide human society. Because at present there is a scarcity of Brahmanas. The brain of human society is lost. Because practically everyone is a Shudra, no one at the present moment can guide the members of society to the proper path by which to achieve perfection in life. Shri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Svayam Rupa Kadamakyam Dadati Svapadatikam Vandiyam Shri Guru Shri Yuta Padakamam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shcha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunatham Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Ladita Shri Vishaka Vitascha He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Jina Bandhu Jagapate Gopisha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhi Vrindavaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sota Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vanchaka Pataru Vyascha Kripa Sindhu Vyayevacha Pachitanam Pavani Vyo Vaishnavi Vyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadar Shiva Sanyagura Bhaktavrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna We have uh, not so much time for um, Bhagavatam class because I understood we have to finish the quarter eight. Uh, uh, nine, 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 quarter to nine, yes. Yeah. Okay, so we'll see what will happen. Uh, so, we are reading uh, from uh, second chapter of Nine Kanto, and this chapter calls the dynasties of the sons of Man. So, and here we can listen different names of different uh, sons of uh, different uh, famous uh, people. So and it means, uh, uh, how to say this, um, chronological, chronological uh, uh, tradition. Uh, because uh, in, in Vedic times, uh, people were very uh, appreciated towards uh, relatives. 
mm, towards uh, family members, not like now. Because you know, t nowadays it's very difficult to uh, remind uh, all uh, relatives from our generations, you know. Maybe I, I remember about my parents and maybe my grandmother, uh, grandfather and who else? <laughs> who else? It's very difficult. Usually in uh, 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 people from uh, um, East can, can have these traditions and they can memorize at least few generations. But usually people don't do that because they don't understand the importance of uh, traditions. Yeah. Because traditions, it is very important. If I have base uh, behind me, fundament, you know, different mm, great personalities behind me, so I can uh, feel myself more protected. Mm. Yeah, and uh, in Vedic times it was like that. Therefore, here in Bhagavatam we can we can uh, meet uh, many many times um, just you know different different needs of uh, different people. And uh, like an um, interesting uh, thing, it was about uh, battle uh, uh, of Kurukshetra. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, if you remember, in first chapter in Bhagavad Gita, uh, Sanjaya just uh, tells different names. Kunti, uh, Boja, Shaibya, different warriors who were there. And few words are just names, names, names. And uh, in one lecture, Srila Prabhupada told, what is the meaning just to chant these names? Better to chant Hare Krishna, you know? <laughs> well, why we should uh, repeat these names? And then he to made both and he told that actually this is very important because everybody from them, they saw Krishna personally. <laughs> they could see him personally, therefore this is very important. <laughs> So, and also, if in Bhagavatam, this uh, great uh, work, great uh, scripture, uh, Grantha Raj, the, uh, the king of Grantha, of scriptures, it is stated about different names, it means this is important. Uh, this is important. And when we uh, pronunciate these names, so we are purifying. Yeah, that's an mm, interesting point. Everything what, uh, what we can see in Bhagavatam is uh, uh, important and uh, can purify our heart, that's point. And uh, in purport, Srila Prabhupada says about, uh, about different uh, varnas, uh, and he says about varnasham. And this is a very complicated topic, and this is, you know, so many debates about this, but at the same time, it is very important because if we speak about uh, spiritual points, uh, still they have material bodies, <laughs> still they have responsibilities here. We cannot say, you know, because I'm spiritual, I don't depend on uh, rules on highway, you know, or just, you know, rules of, uh, of uh, um, government. It is not like that. Like in Russia sometimes, Devotees can joke, uh, yeah, we can go, we can drive in this direction, no problem. If policemen will come, we will say, we are devotees, you know, we are same persons, you know, we can do if, 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 uh, if we like uh, what we like, you know. It is not good because uh, we have to be uh, obedient towards uh, laws, uh, different laws. Therefore, yes, we are spiritual, we are spirits, and uh, we, are, we are part and parcel of Krishna, but still we uh, are conditioned by material bodies, uh, mind, intelligence, you know, all these um, uh, elements. And uh, what does it mean for us, this is the knowledge about our nation, that uh, we are different, we are not the same. Everybody has different abilities, different qualities, different nature, and I, I mean a, a conditioned nature. And we have to be uh, cognizant about this and uh, try to use properly. And this is uh, a reality. Like Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Chaturvanyam Maya Svishtam Gunakamu Bhagasha. He told that I divided society for four classes of people. 
yeah. not by birth, but by quality and activity, yeah, inclination, yeah. This is this is important because sometimes we see that person uh, he would like to to be uh, to become somebody. Mm. Like now in our days, uh, we can see different advertisements about how to become wealthy person. You know, everybody wants to take. Uh, everybody wants to become a very rich person. Yeah, but if you don't have quality, how you can support? If you if you can earn money, how you can uh, maintain it? This is real science. <laughs> how to keep it in proper way? You know, uh, uh, or or sometimes we can uh, hear about positive thinking. You know, no. No problem, just uh, make positive thinking and uh, everything will come. So what about your qualities, about your nature? And uh, these four classes, uh, this is very uh, natural, uh, 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 how to say, uh, this uh, very natural for, for people. Intellectual class, yeah, who, who like to read, study, you know, who can be satisfied just to be in one place, you know, and just read, read, you know, and study and prepare himself for explanation of others, teaching others. So this is intellectual, just to make experiment, you know, just to be absorbed completely in his job, you know. And uh, some class of people, they like uh, to organize something. Why, why we are not so, so, so many devotees now? We have to organize something. We have to uh, preach them, we have to uh, invite them, we have to attract to them for Srimad Bhagavatam class, how we can do that, you know, we have to discuss, you know, make some meetings and just, uh, you know, to make some brainstorms how to do that. But, yeah, this is uh, other nature. Or if somebody likes uh, uh, likes to take care about cows, milk, you know, just to live on nature and and just to have a peaceful life. Yeah, different, different. And some people can do by hands very nice job, you know. They can correct electricity or some problems, you know, or some uh, some uh, mm, how to say this. Uh, uh, water taps, you know, and uh, different, different uh, uh, things. It is also very important. We cannot say, you know, we are so, we are not dependent on electricity, light, water, you know, what will happen. Even sometimes uh, when we are leaving our flat with my family just to travel in some places, uh, so when we uh, are coming back, we see it. In flat, something happened already for this time, one month or two months, yeah. Some land doesn't work properly, you know, or you know, some, uh, so, uh, so something has broken, you know. So, it is material world. We need to support this reality, yeah. It is important. So, these different classes of people are very important. <coughs> but, Srila Prabhupada said that we would like to develop culture of brahmanas. So, it, and what does it mean to, to become Brahman? So, Brahman, uh, we can see from Bhagavad Gita different qualities of Brahmans, that Brahmans, uh, they are engaged in Yajna and they can teach Yajna others. They are uh, studying scriptures and they can teach scriptures, you know. So, different, different uh, activities. But Brahmans also means uh, to be honest. You know, this is also quality of Brahman, to be honest. And Brahman means like head of society. Srila Prabhupada gave example that uh, Brahmanas is like head, Kshatriyas, it is like hands, uh, how, how head can realize uh, uh, their um, thoughts and their ideas through hands. You know, uh, then uh, uh, body uh, is like Vaishya and legs like Shudra. Everything is important. We cannot say mm, legs are not important or hands are not important. But it is okay if you have uh, 
hands, legs, um, body, like people in our days, they have everything, hands, legs, body, but w what they are doing with that? Just destroy themselves. So, it means you need intelligence. You cannot just uh, to, to say, okay, I have body, that's enough. Yeah, but you can destroy that body. Therefore, you need intelligence. So, and if you don't have uh, spiritual intelligence, it, uh, it means you have to study how to develop intelligence, to have association with intelligent devotees, you know, just to uh, listen attentively uh, to spiritual master. That's point. This is important. So, and, uh, yeah, this uh, important uh, question, how to develop this intelligence, and Brahminical culture means they have to preach to leaders. Uh, like some devotees, they understand this and they are preaching to leaders. Like Bhakti Chitta Maharaj, many, many years he was preaching to leaders. He was making some seminars for leaders, he was making some workshop and he, he had uh, some, uh, e even politicians and uh, uh, world famous leaders like friends. Mm. He was uh, writing, he was writing uh, uh, seminars and books for them. Yeah. Once it was story with Bhakti Chitta Maharaj, then he was in America uh, from some uh, representative from White House, White Building, this uh, uh, you know, government, American government came to him and told. So, um, because Bhakti Chetta Maharaj was very famous, he had his uh, TV show and he was uh, discussing with different, different uh, leaders. So they uh, asked him, can you give a seminar about le leadership for our people in uh, government, in this uh, white building, so, so in Russia we, we call it like that, in your place also, white building, white house, white house yeah. So, and uh, Bhakti Chetam Maharaj told, yes, okay, it's possible, so um, this, uh, Fifty thousand uh, dollars for one hour per hour. Yeah, she rather got in So, and the devotees were amazed. Oh, Maharaj, you told so big, uh, big price. You know, it is not possible. But Maharaj was very peaceful. He told, okay, we will see. And this representative guy came uh, uh, back. And then after a few days, uh, he was calling and he told, okay, we just uh, were thinking about your, uh, your request and uh, we decided, okay, we will invite you, but it is okay if uh, $20,000 per hour. <laughs> and uh, they told to him and Bhakti Chitta Maharaj told, yeah, okay, I will come. And then he just... Uh, finished uh, talking and he told, yeah, I was thinking about 20,000. <laughs> so I just told this more price, but I understood maybe they can offer me 20,000 per hour. <laughs> so it was uh, very important for leaders to have such seminars. Actually, business seminars are very popular in, in, in the world and people like to develop but uh, actually, Srila Prabhupada, first of all, he also wanted to preach leaders. Yeah. When he came to America, he had desired plan how he approached the leaders of society. Because he understood if leader understands that all his group, all his dependents will uh, accept it. It is really uh, important. If you read from uh, first canto, all portraits uh, by Srila Prabhupada, from first canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, this is revolution, actually. <laughs> this is a uh, special, uh, special purpose about leadership, how to preach, how to, how to change society. Srila Prabhupada has this program. Uh, but then he saw that it was difficult in the beginning. He started to preach whom Krishna will uh, meet him, uh, will uh, give him. It was uh, hippies and young uh, 
people and Srila Prabhupada started movement from, in, in, from them. It was like that. So, and even now, in our days, if you uh, like to be effective in preaching, you have to preach leaders. Yeah. If, uh, if you have a leader, like a member of uh, our uh, community, then he will uh, bring others. That's the point. Therefore, Sri Prabhupada once told that preaching to students is uh, more important uh, than preaching to usual people. Why? Because student can be future leader. And he told one student uh, equals 100 uh, shudras. Uh, one student. <laughs> it was like that. And uh, so Sri Prabhupada he was insisting for preaching for leaders. It was important. But we can understand nobody can be uh, effective in preaching for leaders. We need uh, uh, training how to do that, but we have to understand who. Yeah, that's the point. And uh, how we can uh, apply these uh, uh, ideas for us, because sometimes devotees uh, uh, are thinking that yeah, everybody should be Brahman. Yeah, Shri Prabhupada wants that I should be Brahman. Okay, so what does it mean? I should not work, I should not make any responsibilities, I should only read, chant, you know, and be Brahman. But it is not like that. Actually, Bra Brahman, it is like nature. You have some nature, yeah. you have some inclination towards something. In nowadays, people and even devotees don't understand who they are. They think uh, sometimes uh, they don't understand what what kind of activity he, uh, he should be for them, what is the engagement should be for them, because they have a desire to, to do something, but they don't understand uh, their nature. Yeah, sometimes it happens. But it is very important to find himself, to understand. And how we can do that? By the guidance of expert devotees. Actually, it was like that in Vedic times, when uh, the children were under protection of teachers, and the teachers can see uh, inclinations of children, and then they can uh, direct them in some uh, area what was more effective for them. That, that's point. And in ashrama, in temple, in community, by the guidance of expert devotees, we also develop our nature. That's point. And if we don't know who we are, so it is difficult. And uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Maharaj, he told, actually, the goal is not just to be Brahman, uh, to become Brahmins. Yeah. Because if you, if you know history, it was one uh, meeting uh, between, uh, between uh, Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati and the different Babajis and Bra Brahmins, uh, smart Brahmins in India. And uh, Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati, he was making very nice uh, presentation about Brahminical culture. He told that, you see, dear Brahmanas, that Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, I am not accept any food because uh, uh, mouth of Brahmanas are my, my uh, mouth, so Brahmanas for me, uh, it is like instrument for taking food, you know, so he explained like that, that Brahmins are head of society and Brahmins were very pleased, you know, by this presentation. Then they told, yeah, this is sound of Bhakti Notaku, really good, he told about so nice Brahmins. And then was break, and after break, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati started to explain that Vaishnavas are more important than Brahmanas. <laughs> and he started to explain why. Because, you know, you can be Brahman, you can, be, you can have Brahminical inclination, but you can be not devotee. Your activity is not meant for satisfaction of Krishna and what is used to be Brahman. Yeah. Because, yeah, Brahman, it is just, you know, condition. But you should become Vaishnava. And who is Vaishnava? Who is devotee? This person who acts completely for satisfaction of Krishna. He thinks about desires of Krishna, about qualities of Krishna, 
he, he, he would like to satisfy God, not himself. But Brahmins can be very proud because they have knowledge, they, they can uh, know verses by heart, you know. Like one Hindu uh, uh, man came to Srila Prabhupada and told, Prabhupada, I know all Bhagavad Gita by heart. So some devotees were very, very amazed. Really? So for us, difficult to memorize even one word. You know, just try, you know. We are trying to memorize, but this is very difficult. But what to do about whole Bhagavad Gita? It is not possible. But Shri Prabhupada was silent. He talked. Okay. And uh, how many verses you are realizing in your, in your life? You know? How many verses? few or one, and then this man became silent. He, he didn't answer anything. Because to realize it is not just to listen. It means you have to be, you have to be uh, practical, you have to invest your heart in it, you have to get uh, experience, of, and this is a real tough job, you know, to realize this knowledge. Therefore, realize knowledge more heavy, vigyan. It is not just theory, it is real uh, heavy knowledge, vigyan. And it is stated that Guru has vigyan, mm. therefore he is very heavy. Yeah. Mm. It is not just he has very, very big body to be heavy. No, he has realized knowledge, that's all. Therefore, we as devotees, we have to understand that uh, yeah, we can have different nature and uh, different qualities, and all these qualities are very important. But at the same time, we have to uh, use all our nature for satisfaction of Krishna. That's goal. Yeah. Such way we can become Vaishnava. Vaishnava is one who is very dear to Krishna. More dear than Brahmanas, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas, you know. So, that's point. Uh, okay, I can stop here. Maybe uh, one question or... Oh, already time. So, maybe one question you can ask. Uh, uh, do you really believe that Krishna uh, thinks Vaishyas are more important or love them more than other persons or you? Uh, so it is just statement from one angle of view. It is not like you know, like uh, he likes only Vaishnavas, uh, uh, other people he doesn't like. Not like that. It, it means you know that Vaishnava. Uh, it, it's like you know, a father who has different children, and one of of them just spends his. Uh, uh, how to say, different material things for himself. It is like a story from Bible. Yeah, different sons. One, uh, one uh, can spend something, one can keep, and other one can uh, increase that. So different sons. And one of them uh, can uh, act completely for satisfaction of father. So, how father can uh, deal with them? Ah, equally, because he uh, likes everyone. But one who is uh, uh, who understood his mood of father, he, who are became very pure and unmotivated, so um, father becomes more happy. That's that's reality, right? Well, I don't know. Yeah. You say so. I don't know if it's reality. Yeah. Okay, okay. But uh, in scripture, uh, it was a few stories when demons they call Krishna. Uh, he is uh, he is not equal for everyone. He likes his devotees, not demons, and they call uh, told to Krishna about that. So, and Krishna says, I'm equal to everyone, but one who follows my instructions, who are distributing my glories, who are discussing about me with love and devotion, are very dear for me. So, how we can do that? 
Therefore, it is, it is like, you know, material point of view. It is mental platform. Then we hear something and we understand. Okay, this is black and this is white. Not like that. It is, it is you know, on spiritual platform we have to understand that everybody has, uh, uh, are dear to Krishna. Everybody, part and parcel. But one who, who uh, helps Krishna in his mission becomes more dear, that's all. It is not like he doesn't care about others, but it is like relationship. This is the point about relationship, attitude towards uh, souls and, uh, and uh, Supreme Lord. Because everybody has uh, free will, and how he can use free will, that's question. And one who uses this free will for satisfaction of Krishna, it is very attractive. It is very attractive. That's all. Therefore, pure devotees are very attractive persons. Why? Because they don't have uh, uh, any motivation for himself. Everything what they are doing, they are doing for Krishna's satisfaction. That's all. Yeah. I mean that. That's okay? Well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, what about all the Muslims? Do they ever uh, will surrender to Krishna? Muslims? I didn't understand. Muslims? Muslims, yes. Yeah. Will, will they ever surrender to Krishna? Yeah. And what is the question? Will, no. will they ever surrender to Krishna? That's the question. Will Muslims surrender to Krishna? No, oh, I don't know. Because we cannot say about mass. We can say about individual person. Because everybody has his ability, qualities, and it depends how he can use it. In any culture, we can see different people. And we cannot say, you know, Belgian uh, people cannot surrender to Krishna, or Muslims cannot surrender to Krishna. We, we, we cannot say that. Because this is relationship in the heart. We are very difficult to understand by external uh, things, actions of others. So, I have met different people and I saw um, sometimes people have bad habits, but at the same time they, uh, they are trying to work on themselves. Or I saw some uh, religious people and they are, don't, they are practicing very external way. Some different people by different, yeah. You cannot say like that only. Srila Prabhupada told not every my disciple can go to spiritual world. And the devotees were very amazed. How is that possible? And Srila Prabhupada told many of them will go to heaven because they are practicing so much austerities, they are controlling senses, they are doing so uh, different things. So uh, uh, minimum heaven are meant for them. But in order to, to go opportunity to, to to go to spiritual world, you 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 should be uh, uh, not just uh, depend on only your efforts. You have to become humble. You have to be under guidance of humble devotee. Because Krishna sees a humility, not proud. Yeah. So actually, actually, even Shri Prabhupada told that. Like this. We cannot say if we go to uh, represent how to say this uh, for uh, this uh, place where we would like to get visa, for example, we would like embassy. embassy yeah, thank you. We, we we just visiting embassy and we are sitting there and we would like to to get uh, I don't know America visa, for example. It doesn't depend. I will get it. Maybe I will not get. It. But I'm sitting in embassy. Embassy are, uh, are representatives of a uh, country. So therefore, temple are uh, re representative of spiritual world. And we can, we can uh, be here, live here. But it doesn't depend that 100% uh, we can go to the spiritual world. Yeah, and sometimes, yeah. Uh, in uh, some of lifetimes it is possible, but what about this life? Yeah, that's point. Who from devotees 
are dedicated completely to practice very deeply Krishna consciousness in order to get Krishna consciousness before death, just now, to develop Krishna consciousness. So that's not so many. Many people, they like just to, to visit, just to be friends of Krishna, just to make service sometimes, you know. But who from devotees are dedicated completely towards mission, to get very serious instructions of spiritual master and start to practice every day, not partially, completely. <coughs> not so many. So the result can be different. And uh, that's point. Yeah. One mm, disciple of my Guru Maharaj told, can you give me Kripa? Spiritual master can give Kripa for disciple. Kri kripa means mercy. And Guru Maharaj told, yeah, I have desire to give Kripa to all disciples. But how I can give it if I don't have? Krishna should give me. And when Krishna will give me? When he will satisfy by his service. Therefore, just, just uh, keep uh, service. Then Krishna will give me sanction, and then I can give Kripa to you. It is not possible. So that's it. Therefore, don't blame uh, scriptures or spiritual masters or devotees for the result of your life. It depends on your, uh, your attitude, how uh, how you are doing that. And always they have space for correcting, correction. It is a job uh, from which nobody can uh, fire me, work on myself. Understand? Nobody can fire me. Yeah. I, I can work on myself. One day or every day or every hour or every minute. So it depends on my and my attitude, my association. Okay, thank you very much, dear devotees. Srimad Bhagavatam class. Grant Rav Srimad Bhagavatam ki, Jai Shri Prabhupada ki, Jai Shri Shri Radha Gopina ki, Jai Shri Shri Jagannath Baladev Sabani Mai ki, Jai Shri Shri Gopinita ki, Jai Shri Prabhupada ki, Jai Gora Primanande. Hare Krishna.
the moment. Kind of the moment. I don't know if she were here. Yeah, it depends on the moment. Some moments they are so, so hard that it's so difficult to get an anything. Okay. Maybe you have experience for the first time of doing that for those people. I don't think this that it is in the middle. Because it's a work that goes together with this. Yeah. Yeah. It's not enough. Yeah. Because I think like you can do it much better than me. I, oh, I'm, I'm true of them. Yeah. That's why I ask you questions. But you are here for so many years. Yes. That makes me an expert in woodwork. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Yeah.
Hare 
Krishna, 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. 
Thank you. 